Hello guys, welcome back. In this tutorial, I want to show you a pictorial representation of what identity resolution is. And we will also talk about matching rules. And in the next tutorial, we will actually create the matching rules. So you can see here in this image, there are multiple sources and Alicia Muhammad is present in different systems and they all the systems share the same email address you can see here and that is how matching rules will identify that okay this is the same person we are talking about even though it's present in four different system and in these four systems she has given different different phone numbers you can see here in this system the phone number is starting with 800 whereas in this system the phone number is starting with 1233 so when they are actually doing the matching rules it will identify that it's the same and this is how the unified profile for that individual will look like okay so if all these four records got consolidated into one record with the help of matching rules and with the help of reconciliation reconciliation rules you can see here this is the unified profile the address is this the email is this the name is this and uh, the order history and all that so this is how the unified profile would be created key types of matching rules in data cloud so you can do three different types of matching rules you can do an exact match you can say that okay exact match on email fuzzy match on name as well as normalized match now what is the difference between each of them so exact match basically is strict comparison only matching records where the data fields are completely identical across all relevant attributes so exact match you will use it for attributes like email right because email has to be exactly same to identify that this is the same person we are talking about. Now, fuzzy match can be used for first name, last name, because some people might say John Rick in one system, they might say John um, just in the other system, and then they can have a different version of their name in third system. So then uh, that you can do a fuzzy match on that. Okay, so this one allows for some variation in data like slight misspellings, nicknames, or different formatting when adjustable levels of tolerance to control the match sensitivity. So fuzzy match is going to be nearly uh, similar. Exact means it has to exactly match. Fuzzy means it will have slight variations. Now, what is a normalized match? Normalized match, basically what it does, it, it compares data after applying normalization techniques like removing extra spaces, converting to uppercase or standardizing the date formats. And once it has normalized it, let's say in one system, the email address was in small letters. In the other system, the email address was in capital letters. So what is the normalized match will do? It will actually convert them into the same standard of email let's say it uses uppercase and then it is going to see that do they match or not similarly they can do normalized matching on phone number where in one system they'll use the brackets to identify the phone numbers in the other system they might use dashes and then in the third system they might have a combination of brackets as well as dashes right so what the normalize will do it will convert them into one standard and then it is going to see that is it a match or not so that is the different types types of matching rules. Now, when you're defining the matching rules under the case of fuzzy matches, there is different precision level, low precision, medium precision, high precision. So if you want things to be exactly uh, very closely similar, then you're going to use high precision. If you are okay with like lenient level, then you're going to go with low precision. This is the most lenient, lenient level allowing for significant variations in spelling and even misspelling. So that is what low precision is. The accuracy would be low. Medium precision, this level is less generous. It is better than the lenient level, but still allows for some variations such as initials and some nicknames. Okay, so that is medium precision. Now, what is high precision? This is the most restrictive level, allowing for own, uh, minor variations like hyper, hyphenation or common nicknames. For example, Matthew and Matt could match, but not much more variation than that. Okay, so this two can be, if you're doing high precision, these two can be actually considered one person, but if you have more variation, it will not con come under high precision. Okay, so when you are defining the fuzzy matches, you can select the precision levels as well. So this is about the matching rules. Now in the next tutorial, we will actually create the matching rules and uh, how to do that. We will talk about it in the next tutorial. So I'll see you then. Thank you.